take It's supposed to go both ways This broken heart is hardly worth the price you didn't pay Hello, good morning and welcome into another Trucker Rudy show Yeah, that sun is just perfectly coming up there right now And it's shining into our truck but hey, we're getting out of Duluth now. Or we're going to get out of Duluth. If we can, right? If nothing goes wrong, feet, right? Turn right on <laughs> West Michigan Street. And yeah, then to 700 feet. smoke bear coming in here, guys. Look at that. Yeah, well. We gotta get at least about 550 miles in today in order to make it to Calgary for uh, Monday night. Mind you, I don't have to be there for Monday night, but uh, I like to be down there for Monday night, if I can at all possible. 300 feet, turn left on South 40th Avenue West, so, and then turn right in 350 like feet. It's supposed to be warming up the further west I go, so that's gonna be good news. JP from uh, Calgary was saying that uh, by the time I get down there, it's supposed to be like six or seven Celsius. That's nice. In 300 feet, turn right on. That's West really, Michigan really Street, nice. And then go straight in 200 feet. Well, then the, the snow and everything is going to be melting like crazy. Yeah, let's get her back onto Highway 2 up here. Go straight, and, uh, and then take the freeway entrance in 800 feet. All right, RJ, you tell them. <laughs> yeah. So, in let's get feet, on down the road. Take the freeway road. entrance on I-35 South US 2 West. And let's see what kind of goodies we will be able to show you today. I really hope we're going to be able to show you some real nice scenery today. And Maybe we can even fly the drone again today. I know the last couple of days it's been really nice, so we've been able to do that. So I know the one place there, uh, there's a rest area. And really nice area up there too. So we got a big lake behind it and stuff like that. I like flying over lakes and stuff, you know. So uh, we'll see. We'll see what I like to do today. Main thing is hammer down and get some good miles in today, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh well. We'll continue on. It's eight o'clock right now, and it shows seven miles. Fahrenheit Take up US here in Duluth. West Proctor. So uh, we'll hammer down. We fueled up there last night in Superior at the quick trip there. Got the number one fuel. So we should be a-ok. -okay. It's supposed to warm up anyways the further west we go, so should be okay with fuel. She wanted to feel those big truck wheels rolling underneath her feet. Her boss was a jerk, and off his work just wasn't her cup of tea. She climbed out of that hole ten years ago to follow her lifelong dream and learn to drive. Now she feels the pride every time that diesel screams. She traded her high heels for 18 wheels to run coast to coast. She ain't no less than one of the best truck drivers on the road. She'll jam in gears and show no fear and drive with a steady hand. All American truck driving woman. She worked nights under truck stop lights, serving that driver man. But filling their cups wasn't enough, she had a bigger plan. She cashed in her tips and bought a big rig and cut that apron loose 
But now she's the one getting waited on in that driver's only boot. She traded her high heels for 18 wheels to run coast to coast. She ain't no less than one of the best truck drivers on the road. She'll jam them gears and show no fear and drive with a steady hand. She's our all-American truck driving woman. So if you see her rolling down the road, pulling that heavy load, show her respect and courtesy. Cause man, that girl's been out there proving she can keep America moving Just as good as you and me She traded her high heels for 18 wheels To run coast to coast She ain't no less than one of the best Truck drivers on the road She'll jam them gears and show no fear And drive with a steady hand She's our all-American truck driving woman Yes, yeah, you'll jam them gears and show no fear and drive with a steady hand. She's our all American truck driving woman. again for a good while just as I put my drone away I was going to turn on my camera when I took off from the area where I was videotaping then a buddy of mine called me there so I was on the phone with him until now so uh, here we are just coming into another little town up here on highway 2 and uh, I made a phone call there to memory express in Calgary and it is my luck that they said that they have one charger in stock. First he didn't see anything online and then uh, he said he would go in the back and check. And so he come back and he said, you are in luck. He said, "You go. we got one left here. So I put a hold on it for me so that way they will hold it for me. So I'm very happy about that. Very good news, very good news. That makes my day. That means I can go there tomorrow and pick up a new charger for my laptop. They're open till 9. So, let's see if we can hurry up and get there before 9. If not, I gotta wait till Tuesday at 10 o'clock in the morning. Until I can pick it up. But they're $120 for a charger like that. But, that's eh, alright. As long as we get one need it otherwise we can't produce the show for you guys simple as that but anyways I figured I'd show you another little clip oh that ice cream store closed nah, I don't want an ice cream anyways not right now but it has warmed up dramatically and I'm very happy about that too as you saw in the earlier clip, I flew my drone over the lake and I got the furthest distance I've ever gotten with it. And that was uh, about 10,900 feet on a distance going away from me. And I started to lose signal a couple of times, but it got it back and you know, that was pretty impressive. I was very happy with that. But uh, hopefully that was good shots for you. Oh, there's a snowmobile dealer. They probably will sell a lot this year because we got lots of snow, that's for sure. But anyways, we got a long ways to go yet till we get to Calgary tomorrow. So let's hammer down and let's go. We got us another uh, hour or so to go and then we'll be out of Minnesota finally. Yeah, we're just going through another little town here. <clears throat> or actually kind of just went through it. So we will be hammering down as 
much as we can. I don't think we're going to need to fuel up today. We fueled up yesterday, so I think we can wait till tomorrow. I'll probably fuel up in Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan, there at the Flying J. That's probably what we're going to do. But look at all the snow they have gotten up here, eh? <clears throat> yeah, they got lots of snow here, that's for sure. That looks like they even got a little bit of a airport up here. So I guess I wouldn't have been able to fly my drone up in this area because you gotta stay off far away from the airport, right? But yeah, it's a beautiful day out here today. I'm hoping that you guys are enjoying your Sunday. <clears throat> I certainly am. Well, let's continue on with our journey and uh, see what else we'll be able to show you. It looks like there's another penner going the other direction. Wow, we must be going to Midland, Michigan. Because <laughs> that's the way these loads usually go. I met uh, Mitch yesterday in uh, Superior. He was going to Midland as well. So I guess they got regular loads that go there. So, But that's good. Keeps us busy, right? Now we have entered North Dakota. And it's just as beautiful over here as it is in Minnesota. Pretty much nothing uh, exciting up here. Just straight fields, lots of snow, and that's about it. But yeah, I was going to videotape the bridge there coming across into Grand Forks there, but then one of my camera the uh, Wi-Fi didn't work for my remote so couldn't make it happen but hey eh, that's the way it goes sometimes yeah today is a quiet day out here it really is not too much going on just cruising right along here looks like we got Quite a few hours to go yet if we want to make it up to Weyburn, Saskatchewan for tonight. That was kind of my plan to make it up there tonight, but yeah, it's looking tougher and tougher if I want to actually do that. But we'll see. It'll be 10 o'clock at night by the time I get there. That's kind of late, but hey, we can still do it. We can do it, we just gotta keep that left door closed. I've been taking some time off and flying the drone more and more lately, so... I just need to keep the rest of the day, just keep my left door closed and continue on, right? <laughs> yeah. But anyways, we'll continue on with our journey and see what else we will be sh able to show you right we yeah, just made us another little pit stop there and figured I would record a little bit of a video for you guys so you guys can uh, get a little bit of a heads up on what's going on and stuff like that give you a little update video I know by the time you watch this that's like seven days ago or almost but <laughs> you know that's all right but anyways, we made us a little bit of a pit stop and that sun is just really bright there. Trying to blind me there. <laughs> I hope it's not blinding you guys too much there in the camera, but yeah, we're still on Highway 2 here in North Dakota. We're just giving her and wasted a little bit of time there again, but uh, I had also gotten some requests from uh, two other youtubers on making some videos for them so I really wanted to do that yet and so I did manage to do that over there I just thought it was a beautiful shot there and figured I'd do it so those two people have been sent those files so they should be happy now I at least hope so anyways right so let's get on down the road my goal is to make it into Canada yet tonight, but I don't know if that's going to happen or not, but we'll find out. I have reached another end of the day. Yes, indeed I have. And guess what? We're parked here on a service road. Then right across the street there, 
There is a Tim Hortons. Yes, indeed, there is. Now, I'm not going to be crazy and going in there right now and getting me a coffee because I want to go back to sleep. I want to be able to sleep too. <laughs> so, what we're going to do is uh, tomorrow morning, though, we're going to go in there and grab us a Timmy's, right? I think that's a good idea. Uh huh. But uh, yeah, they allow us here on the service road, they allow us to park here. There's a couple of other trucks parked behind me yet, and there's one over there and stuff like that. So we're a okay. We're not actually on the road. This is actually a service road. The main road is over there. But uh, yeah, we reached another end of the day. I have no idea how much video footage we got today, but we got some. We got some drone footage. We got some footage off of here and uh tomorrow we should be able to get our power cord for uh for my laptop yeah so now we'll be able to put this file these files all back into the computer right but uh, anyways that's about all i got for today i appreciate you guys watching do me a favor hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already like share and leave a comment that's very important as well yeah we like to hear from you guys with that being said we'll see you on the next one right here on the trucker rudy show which is tomorrow morning at 4 a.m or 2 a.m whichever way you look at it some areas it might be 2 a.m some it's 4 a.m <laughs> but it is 2 a.m central time so we'll see you on the next one have a good one behind me that day is gonna come